Hello everyone. Good morning. I hope you are busy with exploring new technologies, right? So to help you learn one more new technology, I'm making this video. And in this video, we are going to learn about five pen PC technology today. So before starting our video, I just want to know uh, like uh, whether you checked out my last video, which was based on NFC technology. If you felt that video was really helpful, please do let me know through your comments in the comment section. And if you are willing to learn any technologies and you want me to make videos on those particular technologies, you can post them in the comment section so that I'll check out those comments and I'll work out on making the videos on those particular technologies. So let's start our exploration about this pipe and PC technology today. So as you can see here, you can observe five different pens here, right? And the term or the name of this particular technology is five pen PC technology. So these five different pens, which you can see here, have five different functions, which will actually act as a PC. And this is a portable PC. Okay. So let's understand the features of these five different pens. How do they work? What is this technology is all about? And then we understand the merits and demerits of this technology. I hope you are all ready to explore this technology. Let's start. And I have an issue with the slideshow. That's the reason I'd be presenting the screen in this way only. Sorry for the inconvenience. So, as you can see here, these are the contents that we are going to explore today. Let's understand the history of this particular technology, then introduce or get an introduction to this technology. As I told, these five different pens have five different functions. Let's understand what all these functions are. Then let's have a look at the block diagram. Let's analyze the merits and limitations or the demerits of this particular technology. And then let's conclude our video with that. So coming to the history, it's just for an introduction, just to have an idea. So this pen style personal networking gadget was actually created in the year 2003 by a Japanese technology company, which is called NEC. And uh, you can see this person is the designer of this particular technology. And it was presented at 2003 ITU Telecom World, which was held in Geneva, Switzerland. Now let's get back to the introduction of this particular technology. So as I told you, this pen style personal networking gadget package includes five different functions. That is the reason we are calling it as five pen PC technology. So coming to the five different features that are offered by this particular technology, they are CPU pen, camera, virtual keyboard, visual output, and a phone which will act like a communication device. So if you observe the table here, it's mentioned concept component, function, and reliability. So to understand this table in a detailed manner, if we get an introduction of each of these components in detail, then you can understand or analyze this table very easily. This table is completely based out, the based out on the information that we study about each and every component. So let's start our discussion. Before that, just let us have a look at the block diagram. As I told you, there are five different components. One is the pe CPU pen. This is the keyboard, which is virtual keyboard. Here we have a C uh, camera pen, which will act like a camera. Then it's an LED projector, which acts as a monitor. And then this is another pen, which will act like a communication device with work and which works with wireless technologies. So let's understand how these five different things are working together in detail right now. And so starting with CPU pen. So if you see, we know that CPU is central processing unit. Why are we calling this pen as CPU pen is? It has functionality which is similar to that of CPU and we actually call this pen as computing engine because it helps in the process of computation. We use dual core processor for this CPU pen and it basically works with a Windows operating system. Now coming to the next one, it's a communication pen. So the name itself suggests that this particular pen helps us in exchange of information and it's a portable one. It actually works on wireless technologies. So we can actually use wireless Bluetooth technology or we can actually connect it to internet through cellular phone function. We can use Wi-Fi technology. So it is basically helping us in exchanging the information with the help of wireless connections. 
Now coming to the third one, it's a LED projector. As I told you, this LED projector acts like a monitor and it is of a size of A4 size and it has very good resolution. So we can actually get more clarity or get a good clarity picture with the help of this LED projector. Next, virtual keyboard. So the name suggests it's a virtual keyboard, right? Why are we calling it as a virtual keyboard? It is a virtual laser keyboard and the laser is emitted on the disk and that laser beam will actually help us in developing or generating a full-sized perfect keyboard as you can see in the image here. Next, if we go for the digital camera. So this is the last function. So we thought that it has five functions, right? So this is the fifth and the last function that is digital camera. We know that this will actually help us in video conferencing, video recording, and it simply acts like a webcam. We can actually connect it with other devices. It is a portable one. And the best thing about it is it is a 360 degree visual communication device. Now we explored all the five different functions, right? Now, whenever I was talking about these five different functions, I was continuously using a word called portable. And we know very well that portability exists when we use batteries. So whenever we are talking about battery, it is very important to understand the lifetime of the battery till when it will work. So normally these batteries are of small size. They work for a longer time. And now when we talk about the battery life of this particular technology, it is around six days. And if you are using it for normal use, it would be around two weeks. Now coming to the merits, obviously you can guess the merits, right? It is portable, feasible, uh, ubiquitous computing can be done with this particular technology and we are using Wi-Fi. Now coming to the demerits of this particular technology, whenever I was talking about these five things and combination of these things, there is some clarity missing. There is some ambiguity on how, what kind of uh, computations it can done, for what kind of applications can we use. So it is little bit unclear. And coming to the cost, as we are getting all these things uh, together and which is portable, cost will be more. Uh, battery life is one of the limitation that we have to work on. And this keyboard concept is already existing. So we need to add some features to make it unique. And coming to the main thing about this particular technology is positioning. How do you position all these devices will actually impact the way this device is going to work. So we have to be very careful with how do we position those pens. So coming to the conclusion, as we all know, communication has become a major part of our lives nowadays. And every day we are coming up with various technologies in the field of communication. So especially when it comes to 5G communication, we are trying to come up with the devices which are very small in size and compact and which can actually help us in doing a task very easily, in exchanging information very easily. So this can also be considered as one such technology and we need to work on these limitations if we want to really get this uh, technology into real time practical uses. Now uh, you see these are the various references from which uh, we got to know about the information of this particular technology. So these papers will actually help you to get deep insights on this particular technology. If you're feeling you're interested in working on this research thing and get to know about uh, how to overcome these limitations, you can actually go through these pages and you can let me know whether these papers were actually useful for you for knowing more about this pipe and PC technology. So with this, uh, let's close today's video. I hope you're all enjoying my videos and getting lots and lots of insights on various technologies. If you are really feeling these videos are useful, please do like, share and subscribe my channel for further videos. Until then, keep watching my videos and keep sharing your views through comment sections. I'll surely watch your comments and I'll surely try to make videos on the technologies that you're willing to learn. Thank you. Have a great day.